What is up, everybody? We got to do another profit challenge again with the Topps Chrome Blasters. The first one was so good, I wanted to do a round two. We went green. If you missed this profit challenge, it was amazing. We went green at the very end. Um, we had some awesome pulls. Topps Chrome Blasters have been really good to me. I'm kind of wondering if my luck is about to run out, but we will see. Um, like I said, last video went green. We've been we went red on the hobby box. Hobby has not been great at all um, for Topps Chrome. I'm actually done. I'm not going to buy any more hobby boxes, um, and I'm definitely not going to buy Jumbo. Although I have seen, you know, I think if you were going to go the hobby route, I think Jumbo would probably be the way to go. Um, but it seems like what, what I'm noticing when I see posts on Reddit and uh, Twitter and all that, or X, whatever you want to call it, you just end up with like one or two boxes per case that's just absolutely loaded. And the rest of them are kind of duds. You get the pitcher autos and whatnot, while the blasters have stayed uh, consistent. Uh, so first of all, for the profit challenges, if you've never seen this before, we are going to start at the top of the screen with a ticker of the value of all three of these blasters, which is minus 120. They're $40 a piece, so we'll start at minus 120, and we'll see if we can get that number green. For the purpose of the MVP buyback, we're going with the two betting favorites. So we're going to assume that Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani will be the buybacks um, because I got to pick, if we're doing the profit challenge, I got to pick a couple guys who will be the buyback values. So we're going to go with that. Keep in mind, I don't know these values off the top of my head. I'm doing this in real time, but you will see the values pop up on the screen. Let's get into it. Blaster number one. I still have a ton of Topps Chrome left as well. <laughs> I bought so much of the blasters to make content. So Jackson Holiday, nice little start here. It's a good base rookie to get. Lourdes Gurriel, Jorge Soler, Jordan Walker on the all etch. And Lou Bob, Luis Robert on the CPO. Not a bad first pack. A couple cards with a little bit of value. All right, this is going to be our Ray Wave parallel. There's Brian Wu, rookie, Grant Hartwig, Justin Steele. The Ray Wave is Nathan Evaldi. Non numbered. These are one per blaster. And then the first pink is Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo. Not a bad pink to get. Pete having a little bit of a down year this year, but my Mets have been on fire. So we'll see if they can keep that up. Lindor is playing out of his mind. That's part of the reason. He, he struggled in the beginning of the year, and it really hurt the team. Him and Nimmo and Jeff McNeil, he couldn't hit at all, but now they're all starting to come around, and Vientos has been a big surprise for them. We got a rookie, Drew Milos, refractor. By the way, I will not be counting some cards. You'll see some refractors, some base cards that don't get counted. At the end, we add in a miscellaneous total um, to account for everything that I didn't count. Yoshida. Ronald Acuna, Cabrian Hayes, and then we got Justin Steele, Future Stars. All right, Nick Lofton, Tyler Fitzgerald, rookie card. Logan O'Hoppy, we got a Prism Refractor, Justin Turner, former New York Met, on the Prism Refractor. And the Sepia is going to be Spencer Steer on the cup card. Two packs left for blaster number one. Hunter Goodman, Slade Ciccone. There's Juan Soto. There, there, he has an outside chance for an MVP, um, but we're not going to obviously count that, but you never know. That base card could turn into a buyback. Alex Kirilov and the pink is Brandon Nimmo, speak of the devil. We're just talking about Nimmo's struggles at the beginning of the year. He then got hot, and now he's kind of starting to cool off again at the time of this video. Two Met pinks. Last pack of blaster number one. All right, we got Kyle Harrison, rookie card. Gabriel Moreno, Byron Buxton, and a rookie refractor, Cade Marlowe. All right, so nothing too crazy in that first blaster. Pretty much status quo. I mean, you would need Soto to be the MVP to have any chance to have profit out of that blaster. 
All right, blaster number two. Ray Wave coming up first. Jacob Amaya, Brenton Doyle, Robbie Ray, and the Ray Wave is Luis Castillo. Pink behind him, Ryan Noda. So nothing too much there. Chris Murphy, Alex Bregman, Yandy Diaz, and Andrew McCutcheon Refractor. I think I've pulled that one before. So the second Andrew McCutcheon Refractor. We got nothing really stand-worthy yet. I think maybe the luck has gone dry. Emerson Hancock, Zach Grinke, Jacob deGrom, and Junior Caminero Strokes. I've not pulled that one yet. Junior Caminero Strokes insert. That is very nice. Put that one up there. Those cards have... Look at that shine on that card. Those They, they look really nice. As long as you're in the right lighting. All right, Sal Freelich. Rookie, Will Smith, Matt Chapman. We got a Prism Refractor of MJ Melendez. And rookie, Forrest Wall on the sepia for the Braves. All right, Marco Luciano, Dylan Cease, fresh off his uh, no-hitter. Nico Horner, Ryan Noda in a pink, Luis Castillo, so two Luis Castillo parallels. Ray Wave in the pink. Uh, one, two packs left in blaster number two. Carson Spires, Joe Boyle, rookie card, Cedric Mullins, refractor, Brian Reynolds for the Pirates. And last pack. We're going to need something big coming up here. Or we are in trouble in this one. Steven Cruz, Luis Castillo. There's Bryce Harper. He's got a look. A lot of the controversy right now that I'm seeing, we, we posted some polls about the MVP. And a lot of people think that Shohei shouldn't win it because he's a DH primarily. So he's not playing, you know, both – he's not playing in the field. Um, so some people think Harper, even though he's not the betting favorite, does have a chance to win the MVP – for that reason that they won't give it to Shohei. I'm not really sure about that, but um, we won't count Harper as a buyback, but another potential buyback. Francisco Alvarez, Future Stars. That's cool. And there's a sepia rookie, uh, Jordan Adams for the Angels. Throw him up there because it's a rookie. All right, last blaster. We're going to need something big here. Let's see if we can do it. I didn't expect to go two for two with the profit challenge for the blasters. It's really hard to do. Kyron Paris, Tim Anderson, Chris Morell, the Ray Wave, Manny Machado, that's a nice name for the Wave Parallel, non-numbered. We'll take a Manny Machado. And Josh Hader for the pink. Ashton Kerstad, base rookie. Junior Caminero, rookie card. That's a nice one. Manny Machado, base. And Francisco Lindor, refractor. It's a nice card there. Oddly enough, even though I'm a Mets fan, I do not collect Lindor cards. You'd think I would, but just a player that I never really decided to uh, collect when I started doing that. Grayson Rodriguez, Aaron Nola, Anthony Rizzo. We got one of the Summer Times in the Park. There we go, Aaron Judge, Summer Time in the Park. These are cool inserts. Throw that one up there. We have one, two, three, four packs left. hoping to get at least one numbered card, but we are struggling for that right now. Jacob Young, rookie card. Zach Gallen, Jonathan Ornelius. Chris Bryant is the Prism Refractor. And there's a nice one. Ronald Acuna Jr. on the sepia. Sweet. 
take all the nice Acuna cards. All right, Parker Meadows, J.P. Martinez, Justin Turner. There we go. Aaron Judge. So we needed that. We definitely needed that. This is a $20 base buyback card um, if Judge wins the MVP. Some people were asking me on the last Profit Challenge video, why are you giving yourself full credit for $20 instead of like what you would sell it for, which would be like $15 or whatever or $12? The reason is, is because I don't sell them. I take them in for store credit, so I get the full 20 for them. So for the purpose of this video, he would be $20. The pink, Nolan Arenado for the Cardinals. That was a nice one to get that judge there. We got two packs left. Still way behind. Still going to need something big, but at least we did get one buyback. Davis Schneider rookie card. Jeff McNeil. Willie Adamas and Anthony Volpe on the refractor. This was, I'm surprised it doesn't say future, future stars on here, but maybe it's probably because it's Chrome. They don't put, because I think, I thought Volpe was a future stars in, uh, what, Series 2? Put him up there. All right, last pack of the rip. Let's see what we can do here. And then we'll add in our miscellaneous at the end. Yeah, we don't got much going on. It doesn't look like here. Johnny India, Chris Bryant, Louis Arise. We have Ronald Acuna Strokes. Take that. And the last card, Logan O'Hoppy on the sepia. So this is probably a, a more accurate representation of the Blasters. I might have been running a little hot with them. I'm kind of wondering if my luck is about to run out. Um, but this... It, all things considered, it wasn't completely horrible. It wasn't as bad as it could have been without that judge. The judge really helped us a lot. There were a lot of cards that I didn't count in here. Um, so I am actually going to go... Let me see here. One, two, three, six. I'm actually going to go $20 in miscellaneous for all these base. And a lot of the cards that I didn't count here, you know, they add up a dollar a piece or something for some of the inserts and parallels and whatnot. So we'll go $20 at the end uh, added for miscellaneous. So uh, still a fun rip. Tops Chrome always is. Um, we are going to be having a profit challenge week coming up. Um, I'll announce that coming up soon and also a Tops Chrome live rip. That'll be announced soon as well. We're thinking mid-August for the live sale and the probably the third week in August for Profit Challenge Week, but I'll keep you guys updated. So if you want to follow along with all the rips, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.